Hi, I'm Jenna Luke. I'm a PhD student at the Chesapeake Biological Lab. I'm studying environmental chemistry and I'm interested in understanding the environmental impacts of fracking. In particular, we're looking at baseline monitoring as well as developing organic chemical tracers for fracking to see if an impact has been made after fracking occurs. So in particular, we're interested in compounds that are likely to be contained in hydraulic fracturing fluid mixtures. Um, so there's hundreds of different things that might be contained in a fracking fluid, but unfortunately as scientists that information hasn't been made available from the company, so we do um, analyses to try to understand all the different compounds that could be in there. Um, in particular, one group of compounds we're interested in is called surfactants, and so a company will use a surfactant when they're drilling the well to reduce the water tension so that water going into the well will come back to the surface. Fracking is becoming the most important source of natural gas in the United States, um, more than conventional natural gas drilling, and will be increasingly important over the next 30 to 50 years. Um, so there's a lot of these fracking sites all over the U.S. Um, in the majority of states that have shale, shale formations in them. Um, and I think in the state of Colorado, something like 8,000 wells were drilled in a single year. And with, e with each well, there are millions of gallons of fluid that are used. So there's a lot of this fracking occurring and a lot of fracking wastewater. And so the potential for spills into the environment is, uh, is fairly high. Um, and so understanding what the impact could be is very important in the long term.